this point mission critical. You are about to ask this new team member to give themselves to your guests, to be efficient, create memorable experiences. Shame on us if we don't do it to them first. And the optimum time to do it is in the first hour of employment with your company. So today's the day after seven years, I've accomplished the goal that I set out in 2012 to accomplish. I'm on my way to the Toronto Metro Convention Center to speak on the largest stage I've ever spoken on, largest audience, largest company, uh, a recognizable brand that everybody knows. Uh, in 2012, when I was speaking in rooms that were the size of classrooms, uh, I always dreamed about earning a certain amount per speech. I wanted thousands of people in the audience. I wanted to work with the biggest brands in the world. And today is the day. After seven years of hard work, being very clear on my vision, I've achieved the goal. And I'm really looking forward to, to this talk. And this video is pretty much uh, about being setting these crazy goals and doing everything that you can, breaking down every barrier to achieve that goal. So I hope you enjoy it. I need to create an experience for you guys that you've never seen before because now I've earned the permission to ask you to do that for our guests. I have about a hundred companies that have ripped off the $20 question and I'm fine with that because it works. This is an experience they've never seen before. They're gonna go home and talk to their spouses, their children and be like, I might work for the best company I've ever worked for in my life. What is the purpose of your team? I have five people that report into me. I know what their purpose is in their career, intimately, as individuals, not as workers, as human beings. Because this is going to be a very celebratory moment in our company when he leaves. Employee retention does matter, but I'll have a little sub note and say, but it also doesn't. Like in cases like this, I want him to leave. Celebration is one of our core values. We're gonna celebrate when he leaves, on good terms, of course. Michelle's keynote has honestly been the most valuable keynote that I've ever seen. Anybody should, or everybody actually, should be listening to his keynote, whether it's online or whether it's attending one of his keynotes. Um, and the main takeaway is really taking care of your team members. It's all about the people, the people that you hire. So I want you to think about yourself as a leader. Do you have an intimate understanding of what your team members want to do? Do your managers in your restaurant know that as well too? And then I just call this layering. Each layer must know what the next layer wants to do in their career and get them there. I recognize that in, in your industry, you may have some people that work with you just for summer employment for three or four months or so. You should still give them the same attention as you would somebody that's gonna stay with you for four years because that's what admired companies are willing to do. Then we started the interview process and I knew that I wanted to build a rigorous interview process. I wanted people to tap out and say, I don't wanna work here, this seems too hard for me because I'm trying to squeeze them out at the beginning. I'm trying to get them to show me how hard are they willing to work just to get the job. I'm tired of talking to people and being asking like, when they ask me, what's the ROI of learning development? I'm like, I don't know. What's the ROI of putting your child through Kumon or getting a tutor? You want them to succeed. I'm on a crusade to bridge the gap between the relationships we have in our personal life as we do in our professional life. If it makes sense to put our children in swimming lessons and in Kumon because we care about them and we want them to be successful as individuals, why can't we take that same mentality into the people in our business? Every company on this planet is going to tell you that they deliver a great customer experience. Some companies will say, that they also deliver a great employee experience. But the fact of the matter is, only a few companies actually do both exceptionally. If you're interested in doing both well, year over year, decade over decade, I highly recommend implementing the people first culture and thriving together.